everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator, where first of all, we have got to change our company name as someone came up with an amazing idea in the previous American Truck Simulator comment section. We're going to call ourselves Figure Freight. Get it? Figure Freight. In fact, let's just put the E there. There we go. Figure Freight. That is just such a better name than Figure Eight Haulage, whatever the shit it was. Figure Freight. Perfect. Okay, now we've got that sorted. Today, what I want to do is I want to purchase my first truck because I've been playing this game a wee bit now and I now have $42,000 and I'm going to combine this with a big mahoosive loan where I'm going to buy myself a truck and I'm going to buy myself another truck and I'm going to employ someone. So I'm going to do some major shit today. So let's go to truck dealers, first of all, where I've already been exploring. So I've already got a couple of different um, things that we can pick from here. So we can either go with the Kenworth or the Peterbilt. So I'm going to look at the Kenworth first. Let's have a look. So here we are and the only Kenworth that we can buy, I'm actually just going to look for now and then we're going to worry about all the uh, buying and stuff afterwards. So we're just going to look at the trucks for now. So this one costs $122,000. And is a pretty simple truck. It doesn't really have a sleeper bed in it or anything like that. Then we have this one for 137000 which has got a sleeper in it, a day cabin. I think that's probably a much better buy for only slightly more money. Then we have this. It's only slightly more money again for the mid-roof sleeper version. And then we have this one, which is faster. And then we have this one as well. Oh, God, there's a pretty good choice here, but they're all the same truck, essentially. They're all the Kenworth T680, but this one's the high-rise sleeper. This is the mid-roof sleeper. This is another mid-roof sleeper with less power. Then the duty day cabin, and then the really, really stock duty day cabin. This one's got 370. That's got 455. That's pretty cool. Four seven, uh, 370, 455, and then 550. But obviously, there's a lot more weight to haul around there, so I guess it requires all the extra power. Can I look around these things? I want to know if I can, like, walk inside. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can... What is that going to do? Oh, that's going to turn all the lights on. But I can't sit inside it. I guess that's just going to take a picture. Yeah, that's just going to take a picture. I want to sit inside it. I want to actually, like, see what it's like to be inside and not just look at it from the outside. If you're going to purchase a truck, you want... Oh, wait, I just noticed here. We have to wait until we're level 8 before we can buy that. Level 10, level 18, level 20... We can only buy the first one? Oh, man. Okay. I'm not too excited about these Kenworth ones. Hmm. Right. I'm going to leave that and let's check out the Peterbilts. Okay. Here we are at the Peterbilts. And by the way, guys, as always, I ask you guys to leave comments and questions in the comment section below and I'll feature them in the next video. Here are some comments right on the screen using the power of video editing that I picked from the previous video. There we go. So now we have the Peterbilt. This is the 579 duty cabin, which is the only one we can purchase. 118,000, so slightly less, but it still has 370 horsepower and 1,350 foot-pound of torque that the other truck had as well. They seem pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. So it's, I don't, it's really a shame that you can't look inside. What does customized configuration do? Does this allow us to look inside at all? <gasps> it does! That's how you do it! That's how you do it. Okay, well, that's the interior of this one. I guess we, uh, should we go? Oh, I don't think we should look back at the cameras. I think I'm going to go with the Peterbilt. We can pick the color. We've got accessories that we could stick on in different things that are going to cost. Oh, look, we've got a little day cab roof deflector. All a bunch of stuff here. Oh, of course, we can modify the trucks. I forgot all about all this. I forgot all about all this sort of stuff. So we can have that that makes it... Uh, that just gives... Is that just a bigger petrol tank? I think that's what it is. We can also change the cabin at level 10 and level 20 to something slightly different. We can have a bigger engine for 47000 Oh, but it's only going to cost 2500 more. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. And also we have all these different transmissions as well. A 13-speed or a 10-speed. Or this one here. 13 I don't know what a retarder is. Not really sure. I don't. I'm not really sure what a retarder is on a truck. I'm sure you guys can tell me in the comment section below. Oh wow! So we've also got these. We can change uh, the sat nav. Oh, that's the right bonnet mirror. That's not what that is. Front mirrors. What's that? Okay. 
Uh, we can have different wing mirrors as well. We can have them painted. Oh, this is awesome. We can change all this. A standard sun shield if we wanted to. We can have all these optional extras. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump out. I'm going to leave. And I'm going to get the loan from the bank. So, because I've been a very good boy and I haven't gone into the negative, I can borrow the full $400,000 but it is almost $6,000 a day to pay back. This might ruin me. Hopefully with the $42,000 that I've got. Ooh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to spend the whole $400,000. That's the thing. So hopefully with the money I've got left over plus the money I've already got, it should be enough that we uh, don't go into the negative. Okay. There it is. There's the $400,000. I could also borrow another 100000 if I wanted to, but I'm gonna, just going to keep with that one for now. Let's go and buy ourselves a truck. Let's go to the Peterbilt thing. Let's, should we go to the one in Bakersfield or the one in Reno? Uh, well, probably the, the roads outside of Reno have got better speed limits, and it's closer to uh, Sacramento, which is where our base is. So I can't remember if we have to drive from Reno once we buy the truck. So I'm going to go to Reno. And here we go. Let's go to customize truck. I want to get the better engine, first of all. Uh, do we need a bigger tank? It doesn't cost that much extra, so I might do it. I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that one. Uh, 13 speed. I'm going to go all out and make this really nice as well. The prestige interior. That's the standard one. Paint job on the outside. We can go for... Oh, look. We can go for a custom color. Custom metallic color for an extra amount of money. Ooh, now there's meant to be some nice paint uh, paint schemes that we're meant to get because we follow the game. I don't know. There's, I don't know. When you actually look at the game on Steam, it tells you that there's some stuff that you can get. Oh, look at this. I could just go for red metallic. Yeah, apparently there's like some steampunk uh, paint schemes or something, but I don't know when they're going to appear. But that does look amazing in a red metallic. It's going to be our first truck. I figure let's just go all out. Let's just have this really nice looking... On the outside, we can have our sun shield. On the top, we can have a, a roof deflector. Oh, look at that. We can have some painted side mirrors. Oh, this is looking fancy now. Left bonnet mirror. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what that's for. So that'd be, that'd be good. Okay, we'll keep that one then. What can we do on the bumpers? Nothing for bull bars. Bumpers we can have painted as well. Oh, wow, this is getting pricey, but I'm just going to go all out. We've got Steel Basic, we've got Chrome Standard, or Seagull Standard. I quite like this Chrome, it's not going to cost too much extra. $40 extra for those two on the front. I'll go for those. Tires, what have we got here? Standard or Advanced? I'll go for some Advanced. It's always good, I've made a couple of accidents, so it would be nice uh, to try and avoid those. Chrome Standard, again, not too much money extra. I'm going to go for those, although I do quite like the white, but let's just go for Chrome everything. And advanced tires everywhere. This is, look how much extra. Additional price of almost 11000 so far. What do we got here? That's that's just that. That's the roof deflector. And then we have, oh, white mud flaps. Mm, uh, no, we'll go with the blacks. We'll go with the blacks. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to cancel. I want to confirm changes. That's what I want to do. There we go. That's everything confirmed. I'm not too sure about that mirror. I might get rid of it at some point, but I just want to see what it's like. I think that's everything. Wasn't there something that we could do on the interior as well, actually? We can change the dials. Oh, no, that's just the bonnet mirror, isn't it? Oh, see, that's what that is. We don't really need it. I don't really need it. I've already... Oh, I've already paid for the extra, haven't I? Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, mind you, the money hasn't come out yet, so I'm sure we can get rid of it. But this is... Oh, we can get the right bonnet mirror as well. Oh, should we just stick those in? I might go for the right-hand side one, actually. The left one I don't think we need, but the right one I will go for. And we also have... Oh, there's a passenger side mirror. Oh, look! We can do all of that! Okay, I'll go for the side mirror. What else is this? That's just those ones. I'll go for that side mirror. I'll go for that mirror there. But I'll get rid of this one here. So there we go. We can get rid of that. Like that. Confirm. That gives us some money back. And that's it. I am going to purchase. Here we go. There it is. We purchased our first truck. We got an achievement. Please note that all trucks bought here have regular insurance paid already. And is it just going to leave us outside Reno? It's taken us straight to our headquarters where we have our first truck. What a beauty. Look at that. 
That looks lovely. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, buy the basic spec Kenwood as well. And I'm going to employ someone to drive it for me so I can make some money on the side. But this is lovely. This is lovely. Have I got all my steering and stuff? Oh, I have. Everything should be working. Yes, my controls work, which is good, because sometimes uh, the controls didn't want to work when I came back into the game. But this seems to work pretty nicely. Although my steering is, uh, I don't know, it feels a bit weird. But here we go. We can park into here. Enter our garage. Right, now we're in our garage. Look at this. We've got our garage slots. We've got where all of our truckers are. Ah, oh, this is lovely. Oh, we can upgrade this. Upgrade for 180,000. Mind you, we've got, we've got five garage slots, and we're not going to use those all yet. So I think what I'm going to do, look, we've got a recruitment agency here. We can go for the one in Reading. Let's go for the one in Reading. Hire a driver. Okay, you don't have any slots available for a new driver. Please upgrade one of your garages or buy a new one. So we have to have an upgraded garage first before we can... What? Are you serious right now? I have to upgrade the garage as well? I didn't think I had to do that. Oh, look, look. Hired drivers one, truck drivers one. It still just shows... That's weird. I would have thought... Do you know I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade. Here we go. Wow. That is a huge upgrade. Now we have three garage slots in that. I guess that's what it means. I don't know. I thought it said we had six, but apparently maybe that was just one. I know I wasn't reading that correctly. So now, if we press enter... Oh, now we have three garage slots. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go to the recruitment agency. Hire a driver. Who have we got here? These are pretty... Hmm. They're all pretty not very good on their stats, exactly. Their asked wage is all pretty similar. Hmm. Okay, shall we go for the one who's got the most stuff? I think this guy is going to make us more money, but this guy can save us money on fuel. I'm going to go with this guy right here. Ulf G. Let's go for him. They've all got very similar driving ratings, and they go up over time, so we'll hire a driver. And, oh, hang on. We need to pick a garage. Oh, we just click that. Okay. And pick the target slot. Target two. Brilliant. Now we just have to buy ourselves a truck, and they can go and do something. So... Let's get another truck. Truck dealers. Let's get the Kenworth this time and mod it, modify it all up. Okay, here is our Kenworth T680. This is the only one that we can buy right now. So let's get a customized configuration. What have we got here that we could change? That's the same. Uh, I can't remember if I did that on the other truck. I think I did. Do we need all this extra stuff? I think I could probably get away with supplying my people with a standard truck. So they don't really need the faster engine or anything. Mind you, it's so cheap that I could easily swap to it myself. So we'd do that. I could easily swap trucks around. So that's fine. we go for that one. On the interior, we could have Diamond Grey or Vantage Grey. What's the difference? Ooh, that one's got some nice... Ooh, okay. We'll go for that one then. Okay, paint job on the outside. We can go for a red. Or should we go for a metallic? Or we can go for a metallic yellow on this one. Might... I think the blue might look better though. Actually, no. No, let's go for the Sunset Metallic. Okay. On accessories, what can we add here? Big day roof thing. Oh, that looks better. Oh, look, we can get lights and stuff. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's not compatible. Oh, no, 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 no. We want the big deflector thing. Yeah, let's stick that on. Let's go for the painted mirrors. We can have some silver door trim. Sure, why not? Left bonnet mirror. Let's. We don't want that one. We want the right bonnet mirror. The uh, painted bumper right here. We can't do anything with the ball bars. And I'm not going to upgrade, shall I? Oh, sod it. Let's just do it. I'm going to upgrade that, but I'm not going to upgrade the tires on this one. We can do that at a later date when we've got a bit more money. Oh, my God, I've only got 132,000. Oh, this, we're really cutting it fine. 131,000? Oh, man. Yeah, we're really cutting this fine. Okay, hang on. Pull back, pull back. Uh, leave, leave, leave. <laughs> Let's just buy him a standard truck. Let's just purchase the as as is right now purchase. Yes. I'm going to go to that. I'm going to give it to this guy right here. Okay. And there we go. We've only got 10,000. I think I've really messed this up. I think I've spent too much in one go. For the sake of the video, I wanted to do it. But now, in hindsight, I'm thinking I may have ruined my company and my money and the game. We'll see how we go. But there it is. There's our nice, beautiful Kenworth T680. So we've got one of each. And there she is. All working. If I was to stick it in gear. There we are. 
fancy. Is that is this our truck thing? This is oh this is the Kenworth dealership that I've just bought it from, which is like right in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Yeah, we're like <laughs> we're like right there. Wow. Okay. Right. That that didn't happen with the other one. Why did that not happen? So if we go to our company right here, let's go to our driver manager. He's got the oh he's got the Peterbilt. No 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 no. I want the Peterbilt. I want the Peterbilt. Oh here's our trucks here. I want to get the Peterbilt, so I'm going to drive it. And then he will have the Kenworth. I think that's how it's going to work. Yeah, he's got the Kenworth. We're both at Sacramento now. And he can now do as he likes with work, I guess. Did the, does it happen automatically? I've not played this in a long time. So I can't remember. But I hope that's what happens. So we can adjust the cabin thing. Adjust our lights, mirrors, seat. I forgot about all this. This is pretty cool. So I can... Oh, I can change that. Move it back around. Move that in slightly. In fact, no, it's fine there. It's fine there. W and S just changes that. F and C. We'll change it to about that. I think that's going to work. That would do. And I and K. I think that's going to work. That's our seat adjusted. That's looking pretty nice. Brilliant. Okay. And we've also got mirror adjustments. This is awesome. I can't remember this. I can't remember it being this. Oh, wow. Okay. But, I mean, as they are as standard, is pretty much fine. So, hang on. Let's just go to hood right. Oh, we could change that as well. Oh, that is so cool. I'm just going to stick that down a bit more. Like that. We've got our one on the side as well. I can stick that out just a wee bit more. Just so we can see a bit more of the road. And five. I'm going to move that in just slightly and down. There we go. I think that's going to give us some good viewing angles. I think that's it. And there is our truck done. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely brilliant. But I don't think we really... We're really pushing it fine if we're going to do a trip now. I don't know if there's any short ones that we can do. Let's see if there is one on the job market that um, I can do that's really short. Because right now we're in Sacramento. Oh man, these are all... Hang on. Let's go by distance. Oh, there are some ones for Sacramento. I can deliver some here. Sacramento to Truckee. Let's do this one right here for $349. Sure, why not? We'll just end the video with a wee little trip. So now I've got to drive. This is my first time driving with my truck. Now I've got to be more careful and also not be in reverse. That would help. Okay, let's just go in front of the ice cream truck. Whoa! And down here, this is where we're going. Oh, this is so much faster than the trucks that I've been using. This is great. Okay, here it is. It's given us this option. that I can't remember what the option is going to be. What's this? Oh. Oh, there's, oh, these are the different things that they're offering. Okay, this is the ice cream one we want to take. We'll take that one. There we are. There's our trailer. Should be nice and easy to reverse in and get that one. And that's really great because we can see behind as well. Although I have turned that... I, I keep remembering this is a truck. I need to give myself a bit more turning radius than what I would have in a car. Here we go. Down here. Very nice. T. That's going to connect it up. Nice. We're doing good. This is only a short trip, but we're doing well so far. Now, some of you I've actually seen in the comments, you criticized my steering in the previous video that I did. And the reason the steering is not great is, one, it's a game, and two, I'm using a controller. And sometimes, actually, when I'm steering, I want it to do something that the steering's not allowing me to do. Like, I want to turn harder or something like that. So sometimes I might overcompensate in my steering and, like, swerve over the other side of the road just to make sure that I'm not going to do anything silly. And that's really just me just going, oh, dear. That was terrible. That was totally terrible. Oh, why is that so slow now? What did I do that made that so slow? That was really quick at the start, and now it's just gone really slow, and I don't know why. Okay, we'll just ignore that. Yeah, sometimes I'm just, like, playing and knowing the sort of things of the game. There's, I tell you, I'm seeing a lot more cabin, a lot more truck in that wing wheel than I'm used to seeing. I might have to change that in a minute, actually. That's a bit too much. This is great. This is our truck. Better slow down. I've been getting some really stupid fines and stuff, especially because the speed limits change... And you don't notice because they're just down in the bottom right. You don't always notice the speed signs. There we go. Green light. All the way. Okay, we're just going to go to the other side of where the interstate is and drop it off. That should be a nice, quick and easy job. And here we are coming towards it. 
Wow, that was such a long trip. It took like a minute. <laughs> and we're now here at good old Walbert. Down here we go. I want to see, is this going to be the one that's going to be really hard to reverse into? Because I'd like to be able to reverse in. Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Right. Here we go. Let's take our pick. This is going to be right there. Oh, man. Okay. Let's attempt it. And I'm actually going to go into this mode right here. Because it's going to help me a little bit. Is this truck longer? That's a pretty long uh, thing there. Okay, this is a bit sketchy. This is really sketchy. I'm going to go down here so that I can try and reverse down that road there. This could work. This could work. Try not to crash into that pickup truck though. Right, let's see. I'm going to do a hard turn here. Straighten up. And sort of carry this along. And that should be enough. I want to make sure that when I'm going down this road, I want to be as far to the left as possible. Because it's quite a sharp turn in. You can see what I'm doing there. So I'm going over to this left side. Because, yeah, as soon as we go around that corner, it's going to be there. And we don't want to sort of hit the corner as we go around. So this would be so much harder to do in first person mode. But it's so much easier doing it with this view. Although I have messed up my steering just a little bit. I have a feeling now that we'd... I may have done this a bit too wrong. Let's see. Yeah, this is... This is not working. Oh, God. Okay, take two. Where I'm now going to turn in, like, now. Turning in a lot earlier than I was. And I'm not doing it as far over to the left. Hopefully this will work. Straighten up now. Carry it through. I'm going to give a little bit of steering there because I have a feeling it's going to hit that curb. And for some reason, this game won't let you actually mount the curb. It treats it like a wall. There you go, look. I mean, what's the hell? Like, surely you could drive up onto that curb, surely. But no. Oh, we can. Oh. That's funny. Every time I've tried to do this in the past, it never let me up. Oh, this is wonky as hell. What am I doing? I might have to skip this in a minute because this is just ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys. I failed you. I know. I'm sure you're all going to criticize me with my terrible truck parking. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, if I straighten up now, maybe this will work. Just give a tight turn here. Tight turn like that. And I'm going to straighten up now. Turn it a little bit more. No, this is not right. This is still not right. This is still not right. Oh, man. Hang on. Maybe we can get a good angle from now. Maybe this will work. <laughs> oh, God. This is just awful. Right. So now we can straighten up. And now we're going to turn right. Oh, it, oh, 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 oh. Let's go forward a bit. That just appeared then. Come on. There it is, right there. T. Yes. We got the 90 XP. That was satisfactory. <laughs> oh, we got a damage penalty. Oh, that was shit, because now that's damage on my truck. Oh, man. That was that was awful. But there we go, guys. That is it. I've got two new trucks. I'm probably about to go bankrupt. It was probably a terrible idea. But there we go. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below or a question, and I'll answer it slash feature in the next video. If you've got this far into the video... Say Pallet. Say pa Pallet Town. Say Pallet Town. Bit of fun. Cross between pallets because we're hauling and Pokemon because why not? There we go. Say Pallet Town in the comment section below if you've got all the way to the end just so I know that you got to the end of this video. And don't cheat. If you've skipped to the end, don't say Pallet Town because it, it, I want to know. Like those of you that have got to the end, I don't want it. Don't, it's, there's no point in cheating. It's, it's not really, you know, it's, it's more just not to congratulate you. Uh, although it kind of is. It's more just to let me know. And it's also a bit of fun, I guess. But there we go, guys. That is it. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>